thing half of setting on fire hydrant and setting up what he wants to do behind the fire hydrant so he can't get approached but i feel like yoshi would have the right options to keep that from happening a lot better than most characters i do like that uh little initial decision to just put down the hydrant and leave stage for a second just to get that uh charge projectile ready yo and um i feel like yoshi has dummy frame data so i feel like uh, he, he's gonna do a good job of getting rid of fire hydrant and stuff, but he just has to do his best to work around. I mean, even with Yoshi's like um, like air to air game abilities, it's not stopping Jay Birdie from trying to set up his stuff behind fire hydrant and just uh, keep out Amethyst on, as much as he can. On the other hand, though, Pac Man also has just ridiculous frame data for no reason. Oh, yeah, Ford it, it's is like... insane. Yeah, forward air and neutral, like, Nair is a, such a great out of shield option, I mean, it didn't work Just, there for a lot. He, he went for it there, but, uh, yep. Nair's, like, frame 5 out of shield, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, and he's gonna try he's to get something with the bell here, probably. Yeah. Okay, so why is it that every Pac-Man player somehow always manages to just land raw forward smashes, like, all the time? It's because people are so scared of the projectiles and the hydrant. So, right. a whole lot of people's counterplay to Pac-Man ends up being and stand just outside of range of short hop forward air and don't shield Yo. so that Pac-Man can't, like, go and set something up, right? Yeah. That is <laughs> perfectly in the sweet spot of forward smash. Yo. All right. Oh, Ooh, he, he almost had a bell launch. launch there. Yeah, yeah. He, he almost got the uh, bell launch there. Oh, man. And this, something I, you'll, I mean, you'll notice a lot watching a whole lot of Pac-Mans, because Jay Birdie isn't the only Pac-Man player that uh, I frequently commentate in the uh, BGBG tournaments, uh, is that they all want to double jump off ledge towards center stage and drop the hydrant. Doing yeah. it. What other? Yeah. Yeah. What other uh, Pac-Man players are there in BGBG? Uh, Straw Hat Kid is really. Oh, Straw Hat Kid. Yes. Yeah, he's he's yeah. a he's a really good up and coming player. I'm really excited to see what his results look like. Uh, in the post time skip world, uh, yeah. I, I think All he's can say is a whole lot of good work, but right now he's going through a, a self doubt anime arc. Oh uh, yeah, uh, we we've all been there though. Let's be yeah, real. absolutely. All I can say is I haven't been too like uh, caught up on like the Wi Fi era of stuff, but Straw Hat Kid's a name I recognize because he yeah, was in the conversation he, when Tycho and I talked about players won, that like, I slept on. Yeah, he won like ten of the uh, Dayton online events straight. Dang, that's yeah, he's a yeah, Pac-Man for sure. Yeah. And Jay Birdie is is absolutely like this is yeah, a very slow say, paced speaking game. Speaking of Pac-Man doing well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jay Birdie has just feels like he's just sucked all of the oxygen out of Amethyst's game plan here. Yeah, Amethyst. He's taking every, feels like yeah. they're kind of like running around throwing eggs and hoping eventually Jay Birdie just gives them the opening for a kill move. He's, I mean, happened. Amethyst is doing... He's doing a good job at not getting hit by anything super strong, but he's just still getting hit by everything that isn't strong, and that's why he's at yeah, 110 just, now. Yeah, and he's out of here, and it's been death by and a thousand cuts for four minutes straight now. Yo. Oh, man. Well, that was uh, one big cut, 48% off of one little opening with that rising forward air. Like I said, uh -huh. Pac-Man is ridiculous. I really do like Pac-Man a lot, like, is he fun to play against? No, like, absolutely, like, are you kidding me? But, like, he is uh, one of my favorites to commentate for sure, just because of, you know, you get to see what the person's trying to set up, and I'm a big T fan, so obviously I'm a little biased, but... Yeah. Um, watching T nearly Fine. lose to MKLeo was super painful what? at Frostbite. Have you... Oh my god, that... That was such a heartbreaking set. Have you seen really the, uh, was. the frame by frame analysis? Because it was literally uh -huh. one frame. It was, yeah. Literally one frame off. I'm pretty sure the crowd went more insane for that than the Toast Light set where Toast got top eight. Like, that was. Hey, I disagree. The Toast Light set, I've never experienced yeah. that much energy in one room. It was just, they, they were definitely close though, but I think just because yeah. Toast was a Midwest player, I mean, yeah, it, it, he got the the home field advantage on that. Oh yeah, and, and with a character that I don't think many people would say they don't like. I mean, Young Link's a pretty popular character. 
Hey, you know what? I I will proudly say I hate Young Link, but that's because my roommate plays him. Goes for the bell launch there. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I have yeah, a he's... billion years of Young Link experience racked up. That character is ridiculous. Yeah, I can say the same, but I mean, I... Oh, man, wow, that up smash was weird. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, it didn't look, even look like Pac-Man was in the range for that, but, like, it canceled out the side B from, uh, from Pac-Man. Oh, and gets the orange! Strawberry? The strawberry canceled out the egg! I thought he was just gonna die there! Yeah, so something that uh, Amethyst has to start thinking about now for Game 2 is... Amethyst has kind of just like relegated themselves to holding shield underneath J Birdie. Alright, there's a forward air. With a good gimp, Amethyst could bring this back right now. Uh, yeah. But they've just relegated themselves to holding shield under J Birdie when he's going for like double jump off of ledge hydrant. And I think Amethyst just has to find out, like, how can I get beside Jay Birdie as he's rising to not let him just do that flow chart. There yeah, it is. And the there's going to be like the... Now, uh, Boom said, I won $10 on that set. Is that the Toast and Light set or the, the Leo and T set? Because I don't well, think I, anybody... I, won... I took $25 of someone's hard-earned money betting.